Hey guys, today we are making chicken tikka masala pizza. You can make this pizza with leftover chicken tikka masala or you can make it fresh the way we are going to make today. This pizza is spicy and delicious and instead of the pizza sauce, we are going to use the chicken masala sauce. We need to make the chicken tikka masala first. Let's see what we need to make that. I have taken 12 ounces of chicken breast fillet that I have cut in 1 inch pieces. We will need 1 to 2 teaspoons of tikka masala powder, 1 teaspoon of garlic paste, 3 fourth teaspoon of ginger paste, half to 3 fourth teaspoon of tomato paste, quarter cup of thick yogurt, 1 teaspoon of honey, oil and salt to taste. Our tikka masala powder already has salt in it so you need to be careful when adding salt. We are going to marinate the chicken in the masala. So I am going to add in the ginger garlic and the tomato paste into the chicken. Then I am going to add about a teaspoon of the tikka masala powder. Now this is quite spicy so I am just adding a teaspoon. But you can add as much as you like depending on the powder you have at home. And then the yogurt goes in. Finally, the honey. Just a teaspoon. Now I'm going to mix all these together. Now I'm going to let this chicken marinate for uh, half an hour. You can marinate it longer if you have the time. Our chicken has been marinating for half an hour and I'm heating two tablespoons of oil in a skillet. The oil is hot so I'm going to add the chicken into the skillet. I'm not going to add any water in this chicken because we have added yogurt and the chicken will also let out some water. But if you feel the chicken is sticking to the bottom of the skillet, you can add a couple tablespoons of water. So now I'm going to cover this and allow the chicken to cook thoroughly. Our chicken is cooked and as you can see there is a lot of liquid here. This has come from the chicken and yogurt. We didn't add any water and we will be using this uh, sauce to spread on the pizza. So I am going to remove the chicken pieces now from the sauce.
Now the sauce is kind of liquidy and we need to thicken it. To thicken the sauce, I'm going to add another half to one teaspoon of uh, the tikka masala powder. And about a tablespoon of yogurt. And half a teaspoon of tomato paste. And I'm going to mix all this well and cook it for a few minutes. Now don't let the sauce to bubble or it will again turn uh, liquidy. As soon as it just gets heated, you can switch off the heat. And now we'll cool the sauce and the chicken. Then we'll start making a pizza. We are ready to make a pizza. So let's look at the ingredients that we need. I have a pizza dough here. This is homemade, but you can use any pizza dough that you like. We have the chicken tikka masala that we made earlier. I have separated the sauce from the chicken pieces. We'll need a few pieces or chunks of onions and uh, green pepper and mozzarella cheese. You can use as much cheese as you like. Let's start rolling our dough. I have my dough on a floured board and I prefer to use my hands to spread the pizza dough but you can uh, use whatever method you like. I'm going to make about a 12 inch crust. I have preheated my oven to 500 degree Fahrenheit. The edges are kind of thick so I'm just going to use a rolling pin to roll out the edges. Now I find when I use my pizza sauce on uncooked uh, crust, it absorbs most of the moisture and turns soggy. So I'm going to pre-bake the crust for three to four minutes in a 500 uh, degree oven. I have a pizza pan here sprinkled with some semolina and I'm going to place the crust on it and bake it for three to four minutes. So once the crust is done, we'll be back. So our crust has pre-baked for uh, four minutes. And now I'm going to quickly spread the sauce. not spreading too much sauce because the sauce is kind of spicy but if you don't mind you can use more sauce so now I'm going to sprinkle the cheese I'm not using too much uh, cheese because I want to taste the sauce. Now the chicken goes on top.
the vegetables go on top. Now I'm going to transfer this to a pizza stone and uh, bake for uh, 5 to 7 minutes until the cheese has melted and the bottom has browned. Alright guys, a chicken tikka masala pizza is done. It looks delicious and we can't wait to tuck into it. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching.